This is my camera bag. This bag has seen it all. It's been to countless shoots with me through hot, cold, blood, sweat, and tears. This bag has seen more than most people will probably in their entire lifetime. You know what? It belongs in the trash because I found the perfect everyday carry bag, the Brevity Jumper. It can do everything my old camera bag can do while being sleeker, slimmer, and more stylish. No, but in all seriousness, guys, Brevity did send me the Brevity Jumper here. They actually just asked that they could send it to me with no expectations of doing a review on the channel. They just said, if you love it, could you make a video about it? Generally, I'm not too affectionate towards things like camera bags. They're a very neutral thing to me. But I did find this to be really useful and more stylish than my old bag. And great for everyday carry so i figured i would make a video they sent it to me in this green color i don't know what the exact shade of green is but i would have preferred the blue blue is my favorite color but i guess we're not on that tier yet where you get to pick and choose what you're sent um, i'll be grateful thank you for sending this brevity so first impressions the material is really nice it's built just like a standard backpack and it honestly looks like a standard backpack if someone was walking down the street with this on their back you might not think it's a camera bag right away you'd probably just think it's a, a standard bag and i think that is one of the main selling points of the jumper is because it doesn't look like a camera bag if you're in a densely populated city and there's a possibility that there's somebody there that might want to mug you you don't want to really be advertising that you're wearing thousands of dollars of camera gear on your back but without talking too much longer let's just take a look at how I actually have the bag packed because this is how I've been using it for the past week or so and in here in the outermost pocket we just have a sandwich bag full with microfiber cloths lens cleaning spray lens wipes and this little dust blower thing could probably get a nicer bag to carry all this stuff but this works fine for me one thing i don't love is that these pockets don't open too far it opens about halfway so you have to kind of dig around in there without being able to see stuff um there's these four section pockets i don't like this to be too bulky so i only have two of them filled with stuff and one we have a couple spare batteries here we just have some regular double a batteries and a couple rechargeable Panasonic and a loop batteries, which are really good. I just have double A's because I have lav mics that run off of those and it's great to have some spares. I've been caught without spares and that was very embarrassing on shoots before. So you live and you learn. <laughs> and the other pocket we have a ZV-1 if I just need some B-roll. If I'm out taking some photos and I'm happen to be reviewing the lens or the camera that I'm testing, I usually will grab some B-roll with the ZV-1. It fits right in there just like a charm. And that's all for that outermost pocket. Now we get into the actual fun stuff where the camera lives. I am using two of my main cameras right now. So I have Fujifilm lenses in here and a Nikon camera because the lenses, my main system is Fuji, but I do have a Nikon in here just to show. Uh, and I have bigger lenses in here just to demonstrate the size of the bag. So we have a big old Viltrox 75 1.2. We have a Fujifilm 10 to 24 F4. Over here, we got an 18 to 55 kit lens. And then one thing that's nice is instead of having to access your camera from here, say this is shut and you just want a quick access, you can turn the bag to the side like this and grab your camera out just like that. On the camera, I have one of these Peak Design straps. I usually use the neck straps, but I have a wrist strap here that my girlfriend got me for Christmas. And the other thing I forgot to mention in this compartment is I have two of these black cases right here. One is for spare batteries which I have Fujifilm batteries in here. I have two for my X-H2S and two for my X-T3. And this is an SD card case. I could probably get a much smaller case. This just has a bunch of, a lot of the spots I'm not even using. So I feel like I could get a much smaller SD card case, but this section right here is perfect for those two, two things, which you always need SD cards, extra SD cards and extra batteries on a shoot. You live and you learn if you don't show up to shoots with those because you get caught and it's not great. So if we take a look at the part of the bag that goes on your actual back here, you'll see that you can uh, do a luggage pass through. So if you wanna take this traveling and you put it on your luggage, it's just easier to carry like that. We also have here, which this is either for a water bottle or, or a tripod. You can see this part stretches out pretty far here. All right, I just went and grabbed this kind of big tripod. I don't actually know if this is gonna fit. This will be a true test of how big of a tripod you can fit in here. So the tripod does fit into the bag. It's a bit snug there, but luckily, like I said, this part here stretches out. And to secure it, we have an extra strap here that goes into this loop right here. So it just goes in like that and you tighten it down. And now you can carry it with a tripod on your back. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit weighted off to that side, but if you kind of pack it to counteract that weight, it's not too bad. I probably didn't choose the best tripod. This is kind of, a bigger, heavier one, but 
it still fits. And if you have an even bigger and heavier tripod and you wanna carry a drink in this pouch anyway, you can go ahead and just fasten your tripod onto the bottom of the bag with these straps here. So you just run it through these straps. And once it's in there, you just tighten it down just like the other one. All right, and then it just goes on the bottom. And this is gonna be better on the bottom for weight so it's not off to one side. And you can just see, nice and secure. Ugh. Now the bag is so heavy. I have this so full of stuff right now, which is no fault of the bag, it's just my gear. So at the top here, I just have a bunch of gear. Just It's kind of loose up here. There's no not compartments like the camera bag parked down below. So I just have a pair of headphones. These are Audio-Technica. I don't know the exact model, but these are straight signal headphones that don't mess with the EQ of your audio so you can get an accurate representation of what your sound actually sounds like. I just use these to hear what my, my overhead boom mic sounded like right before this plugged in my Zoom H6. But this is something I would take on a shoot to monitor audio, especially if I'm doing lav mics and I wanna hear what the camera's picking up. This is very important. We also have a Rode Video Micro. This is something I would just put on like the ZV-1 if I'm getting a couple vlog clips or some B-roll and I just want better audio than internal camera audio. And then I have a MacBook charger, which you might be wondering why I have a MacBook charger. That's because this also has a laptop space right here. So I have my big 20 or 2019, I think it's a 16 inch or 15 inch MacBook Pro, whatever the bigger one was. So it fits the bigger computer. It does kind of run into the sides of the bag a little bit. You can feel it's like a little tight this way, if that makes sense, but it does fit in there just fine. So you can even fit bigger laptops into this. I also forgot to mention there's a secret compartment in the top. I already turned off my top camera, but uh, I fit my filters in there, which are very important. ND circular polarizing filters. So you could fit a big old case like that right in the top part in this secret compartment. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that because that's very useful. So my overall thoughts is that the Brevity Jumper is a really useful bag. It's a bit expensive for a camera bag in my opinion, but you do get that style. Like it's not ugly. Like honestly, my other camera bag, if I'm being real, it's, it's ugly and it stands out. It's literally bright orange when you open it up and see the inside. So it's just like flashing to everybody. Like I have a camera bag, I have expensive gear. And where I live, fortunately, it's not a very densely populated area. But if I was in, a, in like New York City or something, my other camera bag is not something that I'd want. I'd want something like this that kind of goes under the radar and just looks like a normal bag. As of the making of this video, Brevity did not provide me with an affiliate link, but I might try to sign up for the affiliate program to actually make a couple bucks if you decide to pick up the bag and you want to help out the channel at no cost to you. So I'm unsure if there will be an affiliate link down below, but if there is, uh, then it does help me out. So go ahead and click that if you want to pick up the bag anyway. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Check out my other videos, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.